and welcome back to Expert Talks. I'm Agathe Ducar. Today, we are joined by Elise Rovers, who will explain to us why to use the, the Bowtie Risk Analysis Methodology. Elise, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, Agathe. Happy to be here. Great. So, Elise, you're part of the Pwn Solutions engineering team for Enablon. The key part of your product portfolio is the Bowtie Methodology. Can you first explain to us uh, what is a bow tie in risk management and how it helps companies? Sure thing. Um, a bow tie in risk management is a visual scenario based method for identification, analysis, and risk management. Uh, the model tries to simplify any hazardous reality without oversimplifying it. I see. An If I understand it well, uh, the bow tie methodology originated in the 70s, right? And so it was introduced as a combined product of a full tree and an event tree. Uh, why would you say uh, that is still a relevant model for risk management and barrier management? Right. It's very funny that you refer to that initial version of the model, uh, which was actually called a butterfly model, uh, because back, back then the focus was still very much on uh, quantification and it was very event-based, whereas a later version of the Bowtie model focused more on the uh, qualitative aspects for the barriers on every scenario. Um, so having the combination of Uh, a contextual model with those realistic events combined with the safeguards on those event scenarios uh, gave rise to a better understanding on how to control certain hazards. I see. So what you're basically saying is that the combination of both context and barriers is essential to improve safety. Yeah, exactly that. Of course, it is vital to understand what barriers you have and how they are functioning. Uh, but if you don't understand their position in a realistic context, it poses no effective way uh, to mitigate risks. And actually seeing all of the barriers aligned on a bow tie uh, will help you to make better decisions with that regard, uh, because you know where your critical barriers are, how, your, uh, how accountability is distributed, um, and also what tasks need to be done in order to stay within safe boundaries. And thus you are avoiding uh, deterioration that can lead to incidents, injuries, or even fatalities. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it seems like it all boils down to the famous Swiss cheese model, uh, where limitation and barriers shouldn't be aligned. Um, so how does the Bowtie methodology maintain the integrity of barriers? All right, uh, that's a good one. Um, let's say, uh, take a fire extinguishing system. So the Bowtie methodology prescribes that, that every barrier on the model should have a detect decide and act components, uh, it should be able, capable on its own independently to stop the situation from progressing and it should be auditable. So in this example, it means that the detection, the decision logic, as well as the reaction of the fire extinguisher should all be accounted for within the same barrier system and it should be possible to inspect whether all of its components are actually functioning as intended. Okay, so it, it basically means that it's not only purely theoretical, it's also practical. Yeah, yeah, correct. Closely following the guidelines of the Bowtie method will provide any safety professional with hands-on insight, not only to understand, but also really to manage your risks. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on why to use the Bowtie methodology for risk and barrier management. And thank you all for watching Expert Talks. Stay tuned for more insights on industry topics.